Yo, Visanta here, and I am the true Geo dude, the Geo main. If you guys think you're the Geo main, are you guys really the true Geo mains? How many level 90 characters do you have? <laughs> how many of them are Geo? And how many of you got them to level 90 first? Um, for me, all of my Geo characters are level 90. We have Zhongli, Albedo, Noel, Ningguang. GOMC and then everyone else is like uh, not even close to 90. So my priority was Geo um, and this is pretty much a snapshot video of my characters that I have right now. So we're just gonna quickly just go over through it. I am using a Royal Spear because um, I did not get the deathmatch. <laughs> I got the Black Sword instead and then by that time I'm like I need a weapon and in the shop was the Royal Spear. It helped me a lot with the, the the recent event with the cube at least because um since my crit rate will be low every time i don't crit i get more crit so it's nice and i do have constellation one zongli so i pretty much semi whale just only for the geo character same thing um with albedo here you can kind of notice i have c1 as well um that's as far as i got <laughs> unfortunately i'm not i'm not an omega whale or anything and my talents um six seven seven um, no extra buffs here because it's just C1. And here are my artifacts. I'm running Geo uh, Petra set here, Archaea Petric, and Gladiator. For the reason I'm running Gladiator instead of Nobilis is because I was trying to do more of the pillar damage. And pillar damage is going to increase in 1.3. Are you guys excited? I'm excited for 1.3. Long he's going to be crazy. Um, so it's going to just boost over his overall damage in general. And I got some nice substats on them anyway, so it makes it work. Works a while. Let's see, we can start off with uh, the flower here. So this is my substat. I got crit rate, crit damage. Everything went pretty much into crit damage and a little bit into defense, unfortunately. Uh, I wanted more crit rate, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> RNG, right? And then we have Gladiator Feather. Um, got some HP, HP, and attack, and crit rate. So this is a pretty bomb ass substat. Um, too bad it went to an attack instead of more crit, but it's still good, it's still good. Or even HP, I guess. Then we have the HP Hourglass. I was running Attack Hourglass and then I gave it to Albedo. So this, I'm running HP instead and it got some really nice substats. Um, too bad I didn't go more than crit rate damage, it went to an attack, but this is the way it is. Then we have the Geo Damage Cup here. This is crazy good for, I guess, Zhongli. It gives HP and attack and a crit rate anchor damage and it went <laughs> pretty much on to crit damage. Geo Damage uh, bonus here. This was on Noel and then I, I, I swapped it over here. Then we got the crit damage gladiator helmet. Um, pretty much made just for the crit damage and the crit rate. A lot of it went to an HP too, so it, it's not, it's nice, but it's a flat HP, not percentage. So let's move on to the next five star, Albedo. I'm also running Glad gladiator instead of Nobilis because um, I, I do more. He has 4 second cooldown on his elemental skill. People um, use his elemental burst, the Nobilis, but then a lot of people just use the E anyways most of the time. Um, but I can understand because he just used him for burst um, when he has his uh, ult ready. But I dropped the E so often that I gotta use it for the Gladiator. Right? So I'm using the weapon, the Festering Desire, which came with the event. Right? Pretty much give him more elemental skills. See, I'm camping on that E. Right? So Gladiator makes more sense since I'm camping, I'm banking on that E. So we have the flower here. We have some. This is pretty good. Crit rate, energy recharge, defense. <laughs> Everything went to defense, which is good. Um, and then we have attack. And we also have the, the feather here for also gladiator, energy recharge, crit rate, defense, and attack. Dude, bomb, bomb set, right? <laughs> then we have attack here, which has defense, HP, energy recharge, crit rate. So it pretty much went to energy recharge and crit rate, so which was nice. Then we have. The Geo Damage Cup, um, it has flat defense and flat attack, but the crit damage and crit rate with the Geo Damage, oh man, that was good. But it has defense and attack, so that's why it's on Albedo. Then we went to the crit damage mask here. Um, it doesn't, this doesn't necessarily have to be a mask, I mean, of the Petra set, but I, I did so many Geo Dungeon Run, so many Geo Cube stuff. This is the way it is, right? <laughs> crit rate, defense, it pretty much went defense. This is super good for him though, because it has defense, defense. And energy recharge and crit rate. It pretty much went into all energy recharge and a little bit in defense. Well, not too bad here. Then, I guess here we have Noel. 
Um, the first four star that I got, <laughs> pretty much, um, this is the first summon, right? Oh, not necessarily the first star that I got, but first star that I got from a summon. There we go. So we have the retracing bow lie here. Um, it's typical Noel Noel set since she she always do a lot of normal attacks, charge attacks, so it makes sense. And then we'll start off with. And then she's always in the shield, her E to give her a shield, right? So we're gonna start with the flower. I was looking for the flower. We have defense, energy charge, crit rate, crit damage. This is super nice, right? Damn, right? Freaking everything almost went to freaking it. crit damage. A little bit went to energy recharge. And crit rate was base. Uh, I don't know if it went to defense. But a lot of it went to crit damage. Then we have um, this one as well. It has crit, crit rate, crit damage as well with defense and attack. So I got pretty nice upstats. Um, too bad the RNG wasn't into my favor as much as I wanted to. But I do have to attack regularly. Um, I don't have C6 Noel, so... Uh, oh yeah, I've got to show you my constellation, right? I have C4. I didn't go to Ham, you know, he, she is um, rate up right now for Ganyu's banner. But yeah, I pretty much got my level 90 character like a week-ish ago. Anyway, back to the artifacts. So we're at we're at the, the hourglass here. We got defense. I've been building it for C6, but I don't have C6, but it's okay. Um, at least her shield will do damage when it explodes. So we have attack, attack, which I guess kind of complements the defense. But crit rate and energy recharge. Um, it's, I guess it got dispersed evenly, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. And we have the geo damage bonus cup. So this is what I got recently because I've been farming. I'm still trying to get, I need one more Geo Cup to get all my characters to get a Geo Cup. But I've been farming a lot recently and I got this one here which attack, defense, which is decent. And it didn't roll Element Mastery. Lucky me. But we have so much energy recharge. I don't know. I might, but it has defense, right? Otherwise I'll probably put it on Ningwa or something. But here we have crit rate mass uh, with crit damage. That's the most important part and some energy recharge, not too bad. Um, it did roll an HP uh, as extra stat one time, so that's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. So that's mine. Um, I'll go over the attributes too, huh? I haven't done that. Uh, we'll go over it afterwards, after I go through everyone's artifacts. So this is my Ningua, right? He's the weapon here, Skyward Atlas. There's a story behind that. We're going to go to the story about all the Geo stuff later. But my constellation is C3, not too bad. Um, and then these are my artifacts. I'm running Gladiator and Cleopatra like usual. Um, she does a lot of normal charge attacks, so her most optimal one is Gladiator. Okay, not Nobilis. You could run Nobilis though, but Gladiator is the way to go. Especially if you're making main DPS. All right, so we're going to start with the flower here. I have crit rate, defense, attack, energy recharge. I have a lot of energy recharge on her. Um, and then we have our Cleopatra energy recharge, crit damage. Nice, it went all everything into crit damage here. Then we have um, Sundial, crit rate, crit damage, super good. I got Elemental Mastery a little bit. And we have the Geo Damage Cup. I think this one I had super recent as well. More recent than this one right here from Noel. Uh, energy Recharge, uh, crit damage, which is good. So this is what I enjoy, the crit damage. It, get, it did roll Elemental Mastery a few times. Unfortunate, because I don't need that. But I have a I have energy charge on everything except for crit rate. I used to have something else on here, here, but I gave it the crit rate uh, glider helmet with the crit damage. I was hoping it rolled in that, but it kind of went evenly throughout everything. So, uh, all right, now we have the GOMC using the the black sword for the extra crit rate. I'm just using that crit stick, and I guess some once in a while if I need a heal, I'll just smack it a few times. Of course, constellation six. We're doing the story. Um, I'm running Gladiator, Finale, and Archaea Petra as well. I don't know why people need to run Nobulus on him because more of his damage comes from his rocks, not his ult. But sure, sure, whatever. <laughs> this is my my opinion here. So we have this flower here, which is crit rate and crit damage stick pretty much. It got some attack in there. It's flat though, unfortunately. And we have the Feather, which is Gladiator Feather, which also have some defense in there, but everything else is super nice. Crit rate, energy recharge, some attack. I'm using a crack hourglass. That does makes more sense because most of these attack. We have some flat HP and flat defense, unfortunately. But energy recharge has been flowing nicely for him. Crit damage too, right? 
So here we have crit damage and crit rate. I don't have a Geo Cup, unfortunately. So we just had to make do with this. Um, if I do get Geo Cup from this, maybe in the Petra set, I will have to figure out what to do with like, I need a Gladiator. I don't have that many attack Gladiators. It's a lot of defense. I got this one, but it has Elemental Mastery and yeah, not the best. <laughs> I tried rolling for it, see if it rolls on crit rate, but I didn't. But yeah, so this is what I got. I'm pretty much using it for the crit damage, crit rate stat here. And I'm using crit damage because I'm using a crit rate weapon. Um, it also gives some crit rate and then rolled everything in attack. <laughs> right. But um, yeah, let's go over my substats right now. We have attributes for GOMC. We have, um, this is the attack right here, but the most important part is crit rate, crit damage here, 60%, 140, energy recharge, 126. And then of course, the geo damage one's up 15. And we'll go backwards, go Ning Guang here. Um, of course, okay, we'll go backwards. Geo damage. 100% with the crit rate is 49 which is about 50 and then 112 and an energy recharge 133 you used to have a lot more <laughs> but that uh but the attack right there you can kind of see around the same actually noel attack is this but defense is the is the one <laughs> the one that's 2000 so we got uh 54 and then 100 almost 100 of crit damage here with 98 and you recharge way more <laughs> 148 we got a power shield and we have geo damage bonus of 46.6 now albedo 1700 1300 defense um we have 45 percent crit rate and then we have 124 percent crit damage energy recharge freaking ridiculous <laughs> it was 211 before now the 195 i had to lower it, it gave it some better other stats and um, geo damage 90 percent and we have Zongli. Do damage 90% as Samantha's well. This wine tastes the same he talks too much. And you charge nothing. But ex regular. We have 37%. I do want more crit rate on him. But that's just the way it is right now. And then, But the crit damage 160. Oh, but when he crits. Oh. But yeah, if I don't crit, then it just increases by 10%. Because that's, that's the weapon I'm using. All right. So those are my um, my snapshot of the character right now. Um, so I guess as we're doing the the what you call it, the battles and stuff like that, where I'm running through here, I'll, I'll tell you the story, or I'll just tell you the story as I'm doing things. We'll see. All right, how do I want to start this story um, as I play this? Um, this is the Geo Dungeon, by the way. Um, so before I even started Genshin Impact, I was looking up the characters, right? And then the character I really wanted was Shao first when I was looking at it because he had like the demon form and everything. Uh, let me just set up here. Um, so I, I, and I was planning to not reroll at all. So, so I was just going whatever the game gave me, right? And then the game gave me... Um, I guess I can go over my history later, but the game decided to give me my first, my first um, five star that was not from the Noel banner, right? So after the Noel banner, I did a ten pull, and the first, the first pull was pretty much oh god. The first pull was a first temple was a five star, and you you can guess what it is. I got a Skyward Atlas. So I decided to main um, Catalyst users, I guess, because that's what the game gave me, pretty much. And um, after a few more pulls or so, um, I forgot how far, I got another. <laughs> I was pulling the standard banner because Venti, did, I didn't really like his design, to be honest. So that's just me. Even though he is super good. But, oh god. Uh, maybe I should put one of these down. Where was I? All right, so yeah, so um, I was pointing to the standard banner, and then the second five star I got was again. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it is another weapon, and it was another Skyward Atlas. But at this time, I was maining uh, Lisa, so I was because that's my only Catalyst user at the moment of time. Wait, I should be healing. Let me heal. Hmm. 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 Hopefully you get something good. Maybe you get a Geo Cup. Um, anyways, back, back to the story. 
Uh, so I was mainly Lisa. I was doing videos. If you check my old videos, I was using Lisa, and then apparently I called Man of Culture. But I mean, that's the only mage that I got. And then eventually I got Ning Guang, and I was like, oh, I got a new Catalyst user. So I'm gonna use her. Ah, oh, damn. Defense. Damn. All right. I, uh, do I want to do another run, or do I want to save it for the stream? Switch that TV that's Vincente. By the way, a lot of Genshin stream. Uh, I could do another one. Just shift. Just continue. But yeah, I didn't know that you can, for co-op, you can also discontinue if you just wait long enough. So, uh, another thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, back to the story. I got Ningguang and I tried her out and I was like, oh damn, she's a decent amount of damage. And then a viewer in chat, I believe JD, was like, oh, it's time to be a Geo main. And then, and I was, I was like contemplating if I want to be a Geo main. And he was telling me that no one... Um, at least as a streamer or anything, going Geo. I was like, I'll be like different. And I'm like, I like different. We can, we can go with that. And I'm like, I was like, all right. And then as, 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 as time go, I'm like, all right, I guess I'm going to be a Geo main now. Cause I'm just massing Ning Wong. Cause I really like her. I like her design. I like her damage output. Um, unfortunately to Geo and Geo is kind of under power, but 1.3 is coming out, right? <laughs> all right, let me set up first. I was gonna do some abyss runs, but kind of lazy. It requires too much focus, and I, it's hard to talk when you're super hard focused. Oh god! Let's, let's do this first, I guess. And doing this, this is like brain dead for me because I just put a shield up and I just tank everything, right? Anyway, so I got Ning Guang, and then I decided to go Geo. So I was like working on Ningguang first, and then I guess I was working on Geo MC next. Because I, I think by that time there was only like three Geos. Right? There's only three Geos out there Ningguang, Noel, and oh god, I got freaking hit. <laughs> and Geo MC. So Geo MC was my next DPS, and I was like, damn, he do a decent amount of damage too. Freaking hurling giant rocks for the. But I did make a guide on it like super early. Uh, Cause I don't think anyone else made a, a Geo guy, at least not I know, till like much later. Um, but yeah, he was doing decent amount of damage. I'll do like 13k rocks, man. Oh, I should heal now. All right. Healing time. Drop the flower here real quick. Oh god, he's outside the circle. Okay, whatever. <laughs> And then eventually I'll work on Noel. Noel's been like a lower priority uh, for me because I, I did have um, Bennett and stuff, so I was kind of using him for a healer. But she's still good because I use her on the other team at, only as a healer, so she doesn't really need damage. I just need her to heal when I needed to. Okay, RNG, come on. <laughs> and then. Um, but by the time I decided to work on Noel, they announced like Zhongli, right? And Zhongli, the big Geo daddy, right? I'm like, oh god, he looks good. The trailer makes him like DPS and stuff. But either way, I was gonna get him anyway. And I'm gonna main him. Um, so that's what happened. Oh, okay. Not the best, but it's all right. It's all right. Substats. I'll save the rest for stream. I could have just condensed and then save it for stream, but it's whatever. Yeah, it was only came out. I, I freaking pretty much like save all my primo gen and I decided to whale for him. Like this is the first time I like super whale. Cause I usually would just do um the blessing and then the battle pass, the five dollar battle pass, not like the super fancy one. Just the five dollar one. Oh the ten dollar one, I believe. Um but that was pretty much it. And uh sorry. <laughs> I lose train of thought when I'm in battle. Um, but yeah, so, back to this story, where was I? Right, Zhongli came out, right, and then I main him, and then I weigh over, I think, like, $100? Yeah, $100, just so I can try to get C2 Zhongli, but I only got C1 Zhongli. No, I guess, I guess I game for C1. And then I was trying to get C2, like, just pulling, and then they announced Albedo next. But yeah, I was working on Zhongli. So I was working on Zong I have all these ults ready, I'm not using. <laughs> I will have order. So nice running a full Geo team though, because everything just gives you energy. <laughs> it's nice. Right, we have the archer over there. Uh, but yeah, with Zong Li- oh god. Don't 
Uh, so I was working on Zhongli and then I had to pretty much get his artifacts from Noel because Noel has some like HP ish defensive artifacts, I would have to say. Defensive artifacts. So I was um pretty much took most of it, especially that 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 cup that you saw. That was on that was on Noel. I was like, oh that's the HP, it's pretty good for Zhongli, so um we moved some of the stuff so Noel went down again. <laughs> I was working on Noel like halfway through and then I had I kinda had stuff for her, right? And then you know what? And then Zhongli dropped, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm transferring all my stuff from from Noel to Zhongli. And then now Beto came, and I was like, oh my god, back to back Geos? Yeah, I'm gonna be broke. And then I kind of sent my whale for uh, Albedo as well. Um, I guess the rest of my packs were used. <laughs> to get, uh, so yeah, I think I did 100 and I don't know what else, I think 50 for Z1 Zhongli. And then uh, everything else, like the 30 packs and everything, I went for C1 Albedo and I was kind of saving up for Albedo. Actually, I didn't. I was, I was, <laughs> I was pulling for Zhongli and then I got Kaching um, for a C2 Zhongli. I was like, well, I guess it's going to be for Albedo. So guarantee Albedo next one. Um, so I got Zhongli first and then got Zhongli second. And then the third five star I got was Kaching. So yeah, and then um, Albedo banner came. I ran out of gems and stuff. Um, Albedo, I, I wailed a little bit again, just 50, I think 30 or 50, I don't know which one. Um, but yeah, I pretty much got all the packs now. And did I? Did I get all the packs? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I pretty much got all the packs. Um, just to get C1 Albedo. And thanks for like Corona, Laura, and, and, and JD for also donating for for that those funds <laughs> uh, for extra pulls to give me c1 albedo and everything all right so um yeah albedo came out I, and now farming I, I think most only ningguang was like 89 and then zongli but it was like 80 ish 83 so i pretty much like spent most of my time just grinding geo cubes get everyone else to 90 um, so that was a long ass grind and now, you know, in between I would do like Geo Dungeon runs, um, try to get another Geo Cup. Eventually I got, I got two more. So it was, it was, it was, it was nice. But yeah, that's like my road to right now to getting to Geo main. But yeah, the main reason was the game <laughs> gave me, uh, gave me a catalyst and then, um, my first catalyst user was, that was good was... The hell is he? Um, was Ningguang, and I enjoyed her, so pretty much based the game around <laughs> her element, just so I can like rock it, rock hard, right? <laughs> but yeah, and then now, now I have five Geo characters, they're all built to ninety. But yeah, that's a I I try to summarize as much as I can while battling, but that's the main reason. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, follow my Twitch. If you have any like, I don't know, questions, I guess. I, I do main Geo, so I do a lot of other Geos. Um, if you have any questions regarding um, anything regarding Geos, I can, I can probably answer. <laughs> of course, we have some informative people in my chat as well. So if you have any questions, also drop by. Um, my socials down below and hopefully see you guys next time. With that, 1.3 is going to rock your world, right? Or at least I'm going to rock the world. <laughs> Later days.